The Madras COCC campus is expanding, not just in its buildings like you can see behind me, but also in its health careers. COCC's nursing program is coming to Madras fall 2025. In order to be ready to enter the program, there are important prerequisite courses required. Those new courses started this term, and the number of students registered took the campus by surprise. To come out of the gate with 50 identified, I think was a, a success that we're all just really excited about. 50 students currently entered in the program. At Madras High School, a new CTE health program also just started up this year. Students like Joshua and Bianca, who have an interest in the health field, are able to take classes that help earn college credits. I think it's been pretty fun so far, pretty informative. I'm, I feel like I'm learning a lot, like um, a lot about health careers that I didn't know before. While Joshua says he has his eyes set on OIT, the Oregon Institute of Technology for school, Bianca says she's still undecided. I'm not sure yet, but the COCC program, that sounds interesting. Nursing Department Chair for COCC, Carmen Nguli, says they are prioritizing admission to in-district residents of Jefferson County, as well as in-district residents and members of the Confederate Tribes of Warm Springs. The community and the clinical sites know that the nursing students they're supporting and helping train are students that, when they graduate, are much more likely to come back and work with them, for them, and better the health outcomes of the communities. While college students are tackling their health career dreams in Jefferson County, High school students like Bianca now have the choice to stay a little closer to home. I think it will be really good for our communities, especially this community and the Warm Springs community, um, to be able to um, not have to do that because it can be hard with money and stuff. The building total construction cost is $23 million, with funds through state, federal, county, private donors and grants. It also includes a child care facility for 100 youngsters. Those required prereq classes are going on right now, with this building hopefully being completed by January 2026. Steele Haugen, Central Oregon Daily News.